Hello everyone. In this video, we have another interesting geometry problem from Maths Olympiad exam. So here we have a circle that is inscribed inside a sector of a circle. So the radius of the sector is given as 42 cm. The angle of the sector is 60 degree. We have to find the area of the shaded region. The solution for this question is uh, uh, fairly simple. We have to uh, subtract the area of the circle from the area of the sector. That's very uh, pretty much visible from the diagram itself, right? So to find the shaded area, we have to just subtract the area of the circle from area of the sector. So it is area of sector minus the area of the circle. Okay. But there is one problem over here. We know the radius of the sector, so that's uh, very good. But we don't know the radius of the circle, right? To find the area of the circle, we need to know the radius of the circle. So here you can see this is the radius, right? This is radius R and this is also radius R. We don't know the radius. So first, somehow we need to calculate the radius. So to do that, we have to take the help of trigonometry. How can we do that? So first of all, I will join the center of the circle to the point P. Okay, so I will join this center of the circle, to the point P. So this sector is a symmetric figure, right? So because of symmetry, what will happen? This line CP will divide the angle 60 degree into exactly two equal parts, right? So this angle 60 degree, I will erase this. So our line CP will divide this angle into two equal parts. That is this part, right? This part is 30 degree and the other part also is 30 degree that is uh, this part right this part also is 30 degree now we will take the help of trigonometry to find out the radius for that i will name this uh, point as d and this point as e okay and maybe uh, this point as f okay yes or maybe we, we, we may not need that point f okay i think f is not required I will take the right angle triangle CDP. Okay, why do I say right angle? Because you, can, you know that angle D and angle E are 90 degree, right? Because they are the angle between the radius CD and tangent PD. So angle between radius and tangent is always 90 degree as we know. So I will take a right angle triangle CDP. In this triangle, I will now take sine of 30 degree, sine 30 degree. Now, what is the definition of sine? So, we know that sine is nothing but opposite by hypotenuse, right? So, it is opposite by hypotenuse. So, in the figure, what is opposite of 30 degree? Opposite of 30 degree, opposite side of 30 degree is CD. CD upon hypotenuse is CP. So, CD upon CP, this is equal to sine 30 degree, which is nothing but half, right? So, sine 30 degree value is half. What is CD from the figure? As you can see, CD is nothing but the radius, R. CD by CP is equal to half. By doing cross multiplication, we get the length of CP as 2 times R, right? So CP is equal to 2R. So I can indicate that in the diagram. So this length CP, right? This length CP is equal to 2 times R. Okay. Now I would like to extend the line PC all the way till the end. So I will extend the line now. So this line PC will be extended till this point. So because of symmetry, okay, because of the symmetry of this uh, figure, the uh, I will name if I name this point as uh, say F here. Because of the symmetry. The three points P, C and F will be collinear. They will be on the same line. Okay. So I can say that P, F, right? P, F is equal to P, B. Why? Because both of them are radius of the sector. Isn't it? But what is P, F? From the figure, P, F is nothing but P, C plus C, F, right? This is equal to P, B. Now what is C, F? As you can see in the diagram, CF also is a radius of the circle. So we can substitute PC as 2R plus CF as R is equal to PB. What is PB? PB is known. It's the radius of the sector, isn't it? So it is equal to 42. 
Now we can calculate the radius here. 2r plus r is 3r. 3r is equal to 42. So the radius of the circle will be 42 by 3 that is equal to 14 centimeter. Now we have the radius. We can easily find out the area of the shaded region. So let me take this below. Okay. So the area of the shaded region or I'll just write it as shaded region area of the shaded region is nothing but area of the sector minus area of the circle now how do we find the area of a sector okay this is also a very uh, basic concept that we all know in our schools but still I would like to uh, uh, let you know how to find the area of the sector separately here okay so let me take a circle here I have taken a circle here now how do we form a sector so we have to join two radii from the center right so one and two like this let us say this uh, sectors I mean this circle has radius R and the angle let us take it as theta okay now we know that the overall angle the complete angle of the circle is 360 degree right out of 360 degree this sector this particular sector that we see here is occupying an angle of theta so the fraction will be theta upon 360 right the fraction is theta upon 360 that is the fraction of this sector now if you want to find the area of the sector we have to multiply this fraction with the area of the circle that is pi r square okay so that's what we have to do now so that is the formula to find the area of the sector okay if you want I'll bring the diagram down once again for your reference so we have the diagram here okay now what is area of the sector as I have told you area of the sector formula is given by theta upon 360 degree where theta will be in degrees okay into pi times capital R square which is the radius of the sector minus area of the circle will be pi into small r square theta is the angle of the sector which is equal to 60 degree so 60 degree by 360 degree into pi is 22 by 7 and capital R is the radius of the sector which is 42 so r square will be 42 square which can be written as 42 times 42 right minus 22 by 7 into small r is the radius of the circle so we calculated that radius as 14 right so this should be 14 here so r square will be 14 into 14 we just have to simplify this and get the answer now which is very very simple so let's do that so here 0 and 0 can be cancelled out 6 1s are 6 and 6 6 are 36 now here we have 42 on the numerator right so 6 times 7 is 42 so we can cancel this 6 and 7 with one of the 42s on the top so again we can do 7 ones of uh, 7 and 7 twos of 14 so finally we are having 22 into 42 minus 22 times 2 times 14 which is 28 okay 22 times 28 now this is a very simple calculation we can all do this so the answer i will give you the answer will be 308 okay so 308 centimeter square this is the area of the shaded region okay so that was an interesting problem with an elegant solution and uh, i hope all of you enjoyed the problem so if you like my content do support me by liking this video and do subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video